in part A, they ask you to calculate the turning moments caused by the weight of the rod and you have determined it to be 6 newton meters. So this is the clockwise turning moment. So the weight causes the rod to turn clockwise. And part B now wants you to find the tension force in the string. Now, the question mentioned that the rod is held in this manner. So therefore, it is actually uh, balanced. And when it is balanced, um, the clockwise moment and the anti-clockwise moment will be the same value. Because if any of the moments is larger, then the rod will start to turn. So because it is not moving, so clock and anti-clockwise moments will be the same. So we have already calculated the clockwise moment, 6. So we will put it down as the clockwise moment, 6. And the anti-clockwise moment is caused by this tension. So the force will be the tension. The distance, uh, so we can look up here. The distance that we are using is this one in green here. And the reason why we use um, 0 0.8, this total distance 0 0.8, it's because this distance is perpendicular to um, the, the tension over here, right? So it is perpendicular. Now, you cannot choose 0 0.15 or 0 0.35 and so on um, because these distances are not perpendicular to tension. So always bear in mind that F and D must be perpendicular. So uh, the distance is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4. And that's how you can get the tension of 7.5 newtons. For students who got part A wrong, um, you will still be able to get one mark if uh, you have substituted the wrong answer in part A as your clockwise moment. Uh, so if your concept is correct and you equate it to an anti-clockwise moment, then you will be able to get one out of the two marks.